Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle, and today I wanted to talk about the Call of Duty ranking system and, and how I want it to be in the future, which it probably won't be, but I want to talk about it anyway. So, back in the day, Call of Duty had four rankings on the leaderboards, okay? There was your accuracy, which no one really cared about. There was your kills, which showed how many kills you had, how many deaths you had, and what your KD was. And then there was your wins, which showed how many wins, how many losses, and what your win-loss was. And then there was your score, which pretty much showed how much you played the game, how many days you had, and what your score was total. Um, and that was the leaderboards, that was your rankings. Well, nowadays, it's all about the score per minute. There's still everything else on there, but no one really seems to care about anything, especially the KD. The KD has turned so much in the last couple years. It used to be this big deal, whether you had a good KD or not. And now people look at your KD, and they think, if you have a really high KD, it means you're a camper. That's automatically what they assume. Oh, you have a good KD, you're a camper. That's all that it's turned into now. And it's kind of sad, to, to be honest, to think about it that way. But um, I want to talk to you about the way I think the scoreboard should be. I think we should go back to the past. Um, but first, let me talk about the score per minute. So, the way the score per minute works is, the higher you get ranked, or, wait, let me let me rephrase that. The higher score per minute you get, the higher you get ranked. Which I don't like at all, because pretty much what the game is saying is, just because you got so many points in one game means that you're the best player. When honestly, let's watch an MLG Call of Duty game. Let's watch how many of those morons run down the middle of the map with an MSMC and Black Ops or whatever the gun is in Ghost, because I don't even play that game. Run right up the middle of the map just getting 4 million points a game and, oh, I'm the best player in the world. No. No one in MLG does that or Call of Duty competitive. No one does that. People lay back. Now, I'm not saying they camp in a corner the whole time, but they're more conservative. So how does that make them a bad player because their score per minute isn't as high? I don't like the way that works, and I know that it's really hard to make a ranking system that is actually legit. Uh, but the way, the one thing that I really wanted to talk about was I don't care about kills. I don't care about anything but the wins. The wins was a big deal to me. Because back in the day, I played Call of Duty World at War all the time. All the time. And Hardcore Headquarters was my game. And I'm not even kidding you. My friend was ranked like three in the world at one time, and, and our clan was like... And I know this sounds cheesy, but we had a clan, and we didn't lose ever, and we played against the number one hardcore headquarters clan and won by five points, which is literally five seconds. That's one little capture thing. And it was hype, and, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that didn't happen. But trust me, it did. I remember. It was huge. Anyway, we were sick at hardcore headquarters. You know, we played all the time. We were all ranked top 100. It was insane. We went so hard at this game. And it was so much fun. Well, the reason we were ranked top 100 was because of the wins. Back in the day in World at War, the leaderboards for wins was how many wins you had. It wasn't what your score per minute was. It was how many wins you had in the game mode. And we were all ranked really high because we were a team. And every time we played Hardcore Headquarters, we dominated. And it was awesome. It was so much fun. I really want Call of Duty to bring that back. I want the win um, leaderboard to come back to where, you know, the more wins you get the higher you are on the on the win leaderboards, you know? Honestly, how hard is that to ask for? Now, a lot of people, and, and I even see where they're coming from, a lot of people are going to say, well, honestly, the only reason you get ranked high in this game mode is because you play all the time. Just because you play all the time doesn't mean you're better than some players that don't play as much, which is true, but... Call of Duty is all about getting people to play their game. That's all they want. They want people to play their game and enjoy it. If your leaderboards is ranked by how many wins you have, people are going to play the game a whole lot more. People are going to want more wins. They're going to play a lot. Now, granted, now there's going to be a lot of people trying to hit people offline just to get wins like they're on Black Ops 2 League Play. But there's definitely a way around that nowadays. Nowadays, there's ways to fix that. I hope. I really do hope. I hope I'm not eating my own words when I say that. But I really hope that... Uh, the Call of Duty does something different with the leaderboards because I'm not liking the whole score per minute. I do not like that because I'm not, I'm a good player. I might have one hand, but I'm a really good Call of Duty player. I don't want to lie. I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent. I know what I'm doing, but I'm not ranked really high because I don't run up the middle of the map running UAV, the three smallest kill streaks just to get points, running up the middle of the map, just shooting people with a submachine gun, trying to get a million points a game. I don't do that. That's not me. Now, I, sometimes I like to do that, but not every game. I'm not some moron that runs up the middle of the map all the time. So why, is it, why does it have to be that way? I don't like that. I think the wins, I think what you should be ranked in the game mode should be how many wins you have in the game mode. I don't think it has, should have anything to do with how many kills or your score per minute. I think it should be how many wins you have. And that's the one thing I really like about the old CODs was that it was how many wins you had. And that was really cool because you could play with friends and it got people to want to win the game. And also, another thing, let me point this out because I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos will agree with this. 
all people want to do now is camp and quickscope. That's all people want to do. If you get ranked by how many wins you have, that makes people want to win the game. Which in turn means people are going to play the objective a lot more than they would when they're going for the score per minute, right? It's domination. Who's going to go cap flags when they can rush the map, rush down the middle of the map, get a million kills, calling their kill streaks? If the leaderboards goes by wins, people are going to want to win the game. Am I right? Is that not correct? Which is exactly what everybody wants. For people to play the objective and not camp in a corner the whole game worrying about their KD. It does not matter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the leaderboards and, and how you react to the score per minute. Anyway, that's all I've got. And uh, as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.